Hi, hi all. Good morning all. Today we see about the Spring Boot AOP. AOP means asset oriented programming. So why uh, first we discuss why this is required? Uh, because uh, earlier uh, we discussed about the Spring how uh, the Spring Boot provides the logging support and all. Uh, but uh, the AOP why why it is required? Uh, there are multiple uses of that. But first uh, we check uh, what is the use case of that. Then where, where we are using that. That also we check. So currently in in our application we check that our application is the web means this is the end user end user connect with the our web application okay this is a web app web app connect with the business logic layer okay this is the business layer business logic layer here we are writing uh, services of our like employee service payment service all this stuff service layer connect with the data layer and data layer finally connect with the database okay this this is the workflow currently following means the end user connect with the web application web application business logic data layer and a database so each and every layer layer the data get manipulated means if user sends a json response that gets manip manipulated when you when web application passes that data to json to dto again as per the business rule that data get altered uh, like if you if you send uh, the item details applying the gst logic and coupon things the price get modificated so this is just an example but it at a business layer and service layer again the data get changed okay so all this stuff apart from the data layer also if you have something at a database uh, triggers and alters that time also data get changed and finally whatever data layer we have data we are persisting in a database context so at each layer data get manipulated or data get changed or you can you can think the entity gets modified so how can we get to know at which stage data get modified for that uh, the aop came into picture means each layer we need something so okay so next question this is why aop is required so at between these layers the web layer business layer and data layer data get manipulated so we can lock that add additional security over it validation over it and caching over it means from web layer to business layer we can lock that if if there is another application this is a web ui but if we create a application android application or ios application so that application also connect with directly with the business business layer so here we can add additional security to when the user want to actually access the uh, access the apis over it we can add the validation over it and caching means multiple time uh, is it required if you are sending the third party client vendor or getting the data from the database we can cache that that's the basic use of aop so aop is the uh, uh, it's a broad uh, broad term so we can use anywhere while logging while security check while adding additional validation or providing a caching mechanism okay so so uh, aop is asset oriented programming and we already know about the op uh, op okay means which is a object oriented program is it similar yes both are the similar kind of technologies so if in a aop uh, uh, means in a op means object oriented problem programming in a java we are creating a classes here in a aop we are creating accepts in a classes we have a method signature suppose in a interface we are defining a method method signature or in a classes also uh, if you are defining abstract method we are defining the signature so similarly similarly in asset uh, accepts oriented programming we are defining a point cut and whatever body we define we are adding body method body for the same in a in a in a op means in a java in a aop we are adding advices we'll, we'll discuss in details how how that get exactly work but this is a just a basic for understanding how how we can correlate with the op with the aop okay classes is accepts method signature are point cut and method body are advices okay that, that that's a basic thing uh, the, the spring actually provides the method level uh, aop means you can log or add something before method after method or around the method but accept j is a new framework or it's a new technology where you can uh, define your point cuts and uh, at a all the levels means at a class level at a field level and a method level but in a spring aop we have only leverage to add over the methods uh, yeah that's the basic uh, basic of a spring boot aop means this is a theoretical or the example part we we deep dive into uh, examples means uh, the code code how how it's look like and what are the type of that we just go through the code okay so first we see about the before and after example okay so if you are writing a aop program it's a simple java class first you need to define your class like here i mentioned that employee service aspect here i need to add two two things like accept as annotation and a component why component because the spring boot need to create that object that's why we are mentioning add the component and to to inform that i am not a normal class i have special property that's why we are mentioning here accept as uh, as a uh, annotation in a class we are mentioning before at the rate before means uh, we need to execute this 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 code every this code before the functionality okay we'll check where actually need to execute so in a value we are saying that execution means execute this code on the com dot service employee service star means any method from com dot service dot employee service class star if he, if that gets call you can call this method and for this method the employee is the parameter means employee id first name and s name is three parameter which should get passed to r point cut or r before advice and we are executing that function every function of the employee service 
of the employee service before gets called we are passing to control over this once this get executed we transfer to control again to employee service means if you if you say this is your employee controller employee controller employee controller uh, earlier employee control direct call to employee service and employee service calls to the uh, DAO layer or you can get DAO layer but but this is a OOP term but if you are if you are using AOP then what happen your employee controller 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 calls the this before annotation okay before annotation came into the, the this the, the here in employee service aspect employee service accept after that executing that we are transferring control to employee service and again to the DAO so we are just appending this part in between of our normal execution flow okay you're getting so this is the execution flow and we are adding this additional part while the employee control to the passing to the employee service this is the additional part and here we say that if you want to do specific method you can add here the specific method name okay this is the by default we are overriding this method from from before advice we are just mentioning that public void before advice and here we are mentioning that joint points which is passed by the spring here and our parameter like employee ID, file name and s name here we are accepting that parameter and here we are logging just for the testing purpose okay this is how we are defining the accept but how how that actually getting used to while while writing a programming okay uh, I have the example for similar thing means you can you can write it down like after similar way instead of a before you can just mention that after and the rest of the thing are similar means any function call from employee service comply service star means any method gets call after the execution of that while calling the DAO layer this code should be get executed okay here we are doing the before thing but if you said at the rate after here that code get executed after return also means whenever employee service talk with the database and database return the something output we are logging that output through the return calling return we are logging that account object and we are calling through so this is the way where can we can write the before after and after running uh, these three kind of accepts in a, in a in a spring boot okay next example is about the around means uh, like i already talk about this is our employee controller okay employee controller talk to the uh, service and service to the database but around method what what it happen employee controller before calling the service this is r the aop then call goes to service because we are seeing around that's why before and after our aop code get executed and that call get transfer so the before and after get executed around means combination of a before and after okay so here the the template is the same like except you need to define component you need to define you need to add the point cut here like execution where actually bank service before the bank service you need to execute that earlier we are defining only the before and after annotation and the join points we are getting by spring when when we defining the before advice but here we are creating we are just provide, provide additional leverage that point cut we defined is a separate function and we are just passing that here like in around advice earlier the java provides that or the spring boot provide that here we are passing our implementation of points cut like a proceeding join point cut which we define here that that passes here like log display balance this is this is the name we pass it like around the value which method should get called and we are just logging that and while while executing here we said that jp dot proceed and it's get complete uh, complete but yeah okay uh this is the throw throw kind of exception means uh i i just recap what we see first we say at the rate before then we uh, see before then we see at the rate after then we say after return after return okay this can use for logging purpose this is also for logging purpose this returns the output so you can you can manipulate that data if you want you can check the security all the stuff you can do that at, at this level because the output you are getting means whatever after whatever proceeding the data you get that and last one we are uh, another one we say around okay around is the combination of before and after so uh, combination of around is this but, okay a here we are uh, every time we are logging that but if you want in a special okay exception occur then need to this method get called and i i want that kind of behavior so you can just mention that after throwing and the similar pattern when when that get exec like execution the class path here also we are defining for all the function from account service any function throws the error then method means we logging that exception by throwing the x here similar way spring boot provides the point cut we are receiving the exception and we are receiving and we are logging additionally ex dot get message okay uh yeah so th this is the execution okay, execution e everyone have the similar uh, structure or the similar pattern but just you need to define if you want to define own then you need to add the red join po join point and add your implementation like here we do here we do
here we this is our implementation of point joint point but earlier exception we are just directly receiving the joint points okay yeah and that's the basic uh, basic things about the aop if you have the additional doubts or a question you can let me know we'll will answer that uh, apart from if you want to more details uh, around this you can let me know uh, we will we'll connect again and uh, yeah solve your doubts yeah thanks all bye bye